on my end as an interpreting uh, radiologist, uh, the images are much crisper, much clearer, uh, and much better overall. They are very large data sets, and there isn't film processing involved. You don't put it through any kind of film material or any kind of uh, processor. It is processed digitally, and so the images are much sharper. The ability to detect disease has been shown in multiple studies to be better with digital mammography than with routine analog mammography. The patient experience with digital mammography is exactly the same as that with uh, analog mammography. Where they come into the room, they have a set of four pictures that are taken, um, and the uh, images are obtained. The images are quicker in general, but in, otherwise the patient experience is exactly the same, but really that's where the similarities end. Uh, the tremendous improvement that I think that may be underappreciated is that today everything has shifted now, just like it's shifting for digital cameras and versus analog cameras, is the ability to store and retrieve those images. So now when the patient arrives at Bellevue, they get their mammogram here, but they, uh, we help them or they fill out a small form that asks for their prior images. Uh, we receive those images, whether they're analog or whether they are digital, and they are then digitized and put onto our system. And so their images are available for uh, the la next 10 years um, on our system to review all of their prior mammograms digitally. It makes a huge difference because the ability to digitize the analog images allows us to review those images as well as if they've had a digital mammogram somewhere else, we're able to import those digital images and see them at their full fidelity and it really makes a tremendous difference. We used to be hanging films and looking at films and marking up films. Now it's all digital and it's all with very high resolution monitors that we view the cases on. There's still probably, I guess, just guessing that half of the hospitals in Nebraska still use analog uh, mammography, um, but a lot of them are switching over to digital, and I tell all my family members to not use an analog system if they can. Drive an extra 15 or 20 miles if you need to go somewhere that has digital, but absolutely use digital mammography. The ability to detect cancer is considerably better, and the ability to see microcalcifications is considerably better, so it makes a big difference. I, the uh, American Medical Association, the American College of Radiology, uh, the American College of Obstetrics and Gynecology, all of these uh, major organizations um, have essentially soundly rejected these, these new screening recommendations and have stated that we should continue doing what we're doing. That recommendation came from uh, the United States Task Force for Preventative Medicine. It's a government-owned and government-run uh, entity uh, that, that said that we needed to change, that they, won, they thought this was a better uh, change. Uh, studies have come out in the meantime that have shown that if we were to institute that change, there would be more patient deaths uh, and less breast cancer would be detected. Every woman uh, over the age of 40 should get a yearly screening mammogram. Just period, end of discussion. It does save patient lives. Thank you.